Okay, as requested by one of the members on RC Groups, um, bearing replacement for the ER250. Uh, minor and dire need, so I ordered some new new bearings, and uh, they were S693ZZ bearings. And this is the reason why. Let me show you. Yeah, how bad that sounds? Sounds like all kinds of junks inside the bearing, so... We're going to replace those. All right, with mine, I've removed the clips on the bottom, really small. Um, and there's also a little spacer. You can see here's a spacer. There's a spacer there. And then There's the clip, a little mutilated, but I don't use them anymore, don't need to. Um, actually, when I have a bad crash, all my props uh, fly off uh, with the bell housings, but they don't go far. They're real close to the, uh, the quad when, uh, when they leave it, so I just remove it. The magnets are strong enough, strong enough to hold the bell housing and prop on, no matter what thrust you got on it. So, that's the bearing down in there we got to remove. And that bearing, we'll start out with the bottom bearing. So, take a punch, put it in, slide it past the first bearing, and then feel for the edge. You want to do it angled, so you feel for the edge of the lower bearing, and then tap it out. It's best to walk it out. So a little bit on each side until it pops out. And here, drop at the bottom. There's one. Now, moving the second one, a little more detailed, not too bad though. I take a quarter inch drive, 11, 11 30 seconds socket, mine of course snap on, um, and you put it right up in there. What you want is it to sit inside of the windings. It's got to be inside the windings. If it touches the windings, you start to hammer on it, you could break one of the windings, create an open, and then your uh, motor shot. <laughs> so you don't want that. So, do it like this. Sock it down. And put a wood spacer under each of the other motors. to the socket. Feel for that socket to be centered. You want it to be centered. And just take your punch. Once again, walk the bearing out. This one might be a little more difficult to get out. Oops. If you slip, you want to make sure you get that socket centered in there and is not on the windings, whatever you do. And it looks like it popped out anyway. Yeah, it did. There it is. Okay. And yeah, put that side with the bad bearings. Bad bearings there. And pull out the two brand new bearings. Up there, up there. And putting them in, a lot easier. Make a little tool like this. Just take a bolt. Long, long, small bolt. Something that the bearing will fit over. Like that. And put a nut. A nut on the end of it. That serves as a stop. So you use that. That. And then put the bearing in. Make sure that's centered. 
position your socket again. seated and you know when it's seated because it is flush with the bottom of the motor like like so if you can see that so that's that one now now the top one that's pretty easy just put the bearing in your holder snap it in place make sure you're going in straight And once flush with the top of the motor, you're centered. That's it. Oh, I get a little dirt. I must have a little dirt in mine. Try another one. Yeah. Get in there. Okay. tell this one runs real smooth that's because there must be a little dirt in the bell in the magnets there somewhere so I gotta shoot that out with uh, compressed air but sounds like brand new again all right thanks for watching